Welcome. Let us discuss time. What is time? Is time relative? Is time consequential? Is time something that just flies right on by? Time is something that we should not take for granted. We must pay attention to the doors that we open. We must pay attention to the routes that we select. Because each time we open a door, you must be aware of what is on the other side of that door. Because you don't have as much time as you think you have. Are you spending time with your loved ones? Or are you just being focused only on your goals? Only on what it is that you are trying to achieve in your life? Have you noticed that person with that sign every day? Every single day asking for food? Or has it just numbed you over time? Has heartbreak over time numbed your feelings towards relationships? Have feuds with family members over time numbed the way you feel towards them? Have situations over time caused you to just give up and give in? I believe time is more than relative. I believe time is more than consequential. I believe time is God. I believe God has no ending and no beginning because each generation must formulate how they calculate their time and what they do with their time. The time we live in now is not the time of 200 years ago. The way we move now and the things that we do now is nowhere near the way it used to be. So keep in mind, you must utilize your time in a correct, in a wise fashion. Don't take it for granted. Use it wise. Use it the right way. Spend it with people do not use your time as you would use currency. Don't bank your time because there is no time bank. There is no PTO. Every second you have, all 86,400 plus seconds in every single day, you must give it your all. You must give it your all. You must use all of your time with discretion, but you must utilize all of your time with all of your heart. Because you don't understand how much time someone has. You don't understand how much time you have. We are lost. We are confused, but yet there is still time to get it right. There is still time to say, I love you. There is still time to say, I forgive you. There is still time to say, God, I need you. Time cannot be destroyed. Time cannot be created. But time has the capacity to repair. If you think on these things and take the time and focus on what you can do that is right that is just that is righteous that can help the next human being no matter if you are related to them or not if you take the time just to think about it I promise you your time will be well spent since we love to match time with currency, we say money is time, but money can be replaced. Time cannot be replaced. You only have a select amount of time. 
You only have that. And your family members and your friends and even the strangers who you don't know only have a select amount of time. And it is about time that we see these things because God is here within you, within me. We are one race, God's race. And it is about time that we see this and we unify together as the human race. We all breathe the same air. We all blink our eyes. We all have someone or something in this world that we love. And we know time should be cherished. Time should be utilized. Time should not be wasted. There are many people who look back at their life and say, if I had the time or the chance to do this again, I would go about it another way. So listen closely and use the time you have wisely. Use the time that you have as God gave you this time. Don't use this time that you have right now as if you have infinite time. Though time is infinite, the time you have is not infinite. God is that time that is infinite. God is the infinite time creator, the infinite time keeper. We only have years to track our time. But are you using it wisely? Keep in mind, use your time. 